the most downloaded app since 2020 is TikTok. It's currently number one on Apple's App Store entertainment section. It's ahead of Hulu, HBO Max and even Netflix. But there's an issue. Man visar oavbrutet videor på sex och droger till mindreåriga i åldern 13 till 15 år. TikTok sort of feeds it up to you and learns what you're interested in based on the amount of time you spend on different videos. Det var som hände med Wall Street Journal. För att undersöka TikToks algoritm skapade de dussintals falska konton och fick sedan in en tsunami av vuxenvideor. Like TikTok is the wild wild west. Sam Sorbo är en influencer inom utbildning för barn. Hon är programmer för Schools Out på Epoch TV. I do think that TikTok is perhaps more dangerous than many of the other social media apps. Ett konto som registrerades som en 13-åring fick 600 videor om droganvändning, allt från kokain till amfetamin. Andra konton fick otaliga videor som marknadsförde sexbutiker och porrsidor. Social media might need to start having similar regulations to see what minors can and cannot see. TikTok säger att det är viktigt att skydda mindreåriga. Användare under 18 år behöver föräldrarnas samtycke för att använda appen enligt användarvillkoren. You know, they're using it as fun and games when there are people who are actively using TikTok to target your children. NTD talade med den stigande TikTok-stjärnan Savannah Smiles. Hennes senaste video fick över 300 000 visningar. It's just a quick, fun way to entertain yourself. Um, I think it exposes you to a lot more different people. You get to see people on your explore page that you wouldn't normally see, so it's really cool in that aspect. Hon har inte varit utsatt för videor om sex och droger, men säger att TikTok-användare bör vara försiktiga. It's the 21st century and it's out there, so I think the best thing to do as parents is just to educate them on what's out there. Hennes mamma Donna håller med. As a TikTok mom, I am concerned about our kids, but I think it starts at home. Like we have to have those conversations with our children and ensure that they are equipped to make good choices. So what can happen to kids if they keep watching videos on sex and drugs? They really can get physically hurt, certainly psychologically hurt, induced to um, practice all of these sex acts or to start using drugs or even there are some about um, uh, eating disorders to start doing all of the things that they think are cool because they see it on TikTok. TikTok says it removed 90 million videos in the second half of last year, but it's getting hard to keep up. Thousands of videos are getting uploaded every minute. Phil Zoe, NTD News, New York.